Hi there, it's Scott Nicholson, Associate Professor at Syracuse University School of Information Studies, and welcome to the Gaming Libraries course. Now today is the first guest speaker. So what I'm going to be doing is every weekend of the class on Saturday and Sunday, we're going to have guest speakers talk to you about how they're using games in their libraries. Now the guest speakers are actually funded by the Verizon Foundation. Uh, the Verizon Foundation and Thinkfinity.org has given a million dollars to the American Library Association to study gaming in <coughs> libraries. And through that process, they were able to bring together a panel of experts. And so the videos that you're going to see from our guests are people who have been selected by that panel as experts. And so we'd like to thank the Verizon for their support of this class and these experts. Today, you're going to hear from Terry Kirk. Terry Kirk is a school librarian and has been running gaming programs in her school. So you're going to see a video where she talks about the gaming programs in her school. You get to meet some of the kids who are involved with it and get a good idea of how she's using gaming as a recreational service in a school library. Take it away, Terry. Hi, I'm Terry Kirk and I'm the librarian at Reedland High School and that's in Western Kentucky. And I'm the sponsor of the Game Club and I wanted to tell you a little bit about how we got started. A few years ago, we decided to have a chess club, and it wasn't a chess team where we would do competitions or anything like that. It was just for fun to play chess, and it kind of evolved from there into a game club. So now we still have some people that play chess, but we also have Monopoly and Battleship and Clue and Cards and Checkers and Uno and all kinds of board games, even things like Twister and things like that. Um, we also do some things with video games. Now, we have a club meeting once a month, so we don't have a lot of time to do video games, but a few times this year we bought a couple of systems, uh, a Wii with uh, Super Smash Brothers and my very own Guitar Hero, and we play, we take turns on playing on that as our game club as well. Um, one of the fun things about being in game club is that we have two special events each year. And we'd like to increase that to three, but so far we've just done two. And it started out as a um, idea to celebrate Teen Tech Week through from Yalsa, and um, so we decided to have us we call it a Cyber Night. It actually ends up being a Cyber Day and Night because we start about noon and we go till about 10 o'clock at night. And what we did this year was um, we on Friday afternoon a lot of the guys that are in the club came and set up cleaned out the library, took all the tables out, gathered up all the things that we could get, smart boards, projectors, carts with electricity, and um, some televisions so that we could set up for a, a huge um, cyber auditorium in the, in the um, library. And I'm going to let my club president tell you about how he was able to get the things that we needed to do that. Okay, they're playing a tournament here. We've got uh, this team. systems gathered up. This didn't really take much because people wanted to play games. 
Just go around, tell people. Come, have fun. And a lot of people volunteer. And during the week, we just sat down there and had to set it up every night, well, every morning and take down at the end of it all. So how many people do you think volunteered their stuff? Uh, total, we had probably between 10 and 15 people total. And what about security? Did you feel like um, people might get their stuff lost? I wasn't too worried about that because we had a lot of people watching all the stuff. We had a lot of volunteers to make sure nothing was in danger. And what kind of games did you play? Uh, we mostly played Guitar Hero and games that rhythm games really because they're appropriate for school and they're fun. A lot of people enjoy them. Um, do you think that most kids enjoyed the days that you had at school? Uh, everybody seemed to be having a good time. Great, thanks. Okay, you heard Ray say something about setting up in the gym. Um, so we have a state testing, and it's pretty high stakes. So a week before testing, we get to have kind of a reward days for each grade. And so on Tuesday, the freshmen get a day, and they get to come to the gym and play games, and then they get grilled hamburgers and things like that. So one of the things that the game club sponsors is to set up the gym. And I was out of, um, out of, I was in training for two days, and I was at a meeting for two days. So actually, Ray and the kids, the other guys, mostly guys, there were a few girls, but mostly guys, had to set up every day and take down every day and be responsible for it. And everyone that I talked to said it was a big success. So we had four days of playing games for a couple hours at school, and that makes for a really fun time. That's one of the benefits, we think, of being in the game club, because when you get to be an officer, then you get to spend most of those days in there. So um, game club is very easy to start at your school. You don't have to have a lot of money. People, um, if we, we charge about $5 for dues, and this year that went for the pizza that we had for our game club night when we had our cyber night. And we also bought a few new games. We buy a few new games each year. Also, your faculty may have some games in their closet that they are no longer playing anymore that, be, that they would donate to your library fund. So if you get interested in starting a game club, you can email me at terry.kirk at mccracken.kyschools.us. Thanks.